Pokemon Go is an augmented reality game released July 2016 that lets players search for Pokemon to capture in real-world locations by using your mobile device's GPS and camera functions. The idea is that you can use your mobile device to locate the monsters outside, in your home, at work, or wherever the game tells you to look. There are also locations known as lures, which are community items anyone can use, but only last around 30 minutes. While the goal of the game was to get people out of their house to explore and have fun, almost as fast as the game was downloaded, a string of violence erupted surrounding it. Here are three such stories, all involving Pokemon Go. July 2016, Guatemala. Two teenage boys, aged 17 and 18, had ventured out of their house at night to search for Pokemon. The details aren't really clear and there are some conflicting reports as to what happened just prior to the attack, but at some point it's believed that the game app had led the two boys either to an abandoned house or a dark street to capture Pokemon. It's speculated that someone, or several someones, may have used the game's lure module to attract victims to the area so that they could rob them. It was at this point in the night that gunshots rang out and both boys were hit by bullets. One later died at the hospital. A van was seen speeding away from the location the shooting occurred. July 2016, Greenville, North Carolina. 19-year-old Dylan Manning had been playing the game with a group of friends near Evans Street. At some point during the game, Manning was approached by Harry Ford, a 47-year-old man from Burlington. Just prior to Ford approaching Manning, he had assaulted a 26-year-old man by shoving him into a car. It's not clear why Ford assaulted the first man, but his aggressive tendencies then escalated as he approached Manning. Shortly after he approached, Ford pulled out a knife and stabbed him. Manning was rushed to the hospital and Ford later turned himself in for the assault. Luckily, Manning's injuries were not life-threatening. It's still unclear why the stabbing took place. July 2016, Germany. Riot police were dispatched to break up a fight that occurred between a group of seven men. At some point during the fight, a knife was drawn by one of the men who then began stabbing several of the others. By the time the scene was cleared, four of the men were in the hospital for their injuries. The gamers had even attacked the officers that had come to break up the fight, forcing reinforcements to be called in. It's unclear what caused the fight to break out, but one thing is certain. All seven men were playing the game before the fight started.